I think there's, obviously there's more, I'm going to overly simplify it. I think there's two implementations of role queue. One is pr preference, and then the other is forced. Yep. The forced version is we say, you're going to queue for tank, and then we're only going to make tanks available for you, and you can't switch off a tank. But you can pick whatever tank you want. Hello and welcome back to Blackwatch Intel. My name is Crashy, and today we have the pleasure of taking a look and kind of diving into this conversation that is obviously going to be an interview with Jeff Kaplan that your Overwatch put out. So huge shout out to them. They were able to get some pretty good content from BlizzCon and just always having a very kind of open-ended interview type process with a developer is always really insightful and you get a little bit more detailed response and a little bit more kind of like in the minds of the developer. And this particular snippet that you saw at the beginning of this video really stood out to me because it deals directly with, you know, kind of my interest with a role queue or a preferred queue system in Overwatch. And I kind of want to re-queue up the video that I made on role queue so you can check that out on the YouTube card. If you haven't seen it already, it's definitely one of our older videos when we probably had around 200 subs. So for some of you new people, definitely go check that out. I would love a lot of feedback on that video and that idea specifically because I think it's an idea that could really improve Overwatch. Now, to kind of dive into what Jeff Kaplan said, he basically said that there are two ways to look at a role queue system or, you know, preferred role. And it's just that, you know, role queue where you lock people in and say, hey, look, this is your role. This is what you play now. And then a preferred system where you kind of put out there what you like to play, what you're willing to play, and then you get in this gray area where you have to join a team and play with a lot of trust with now a more weighted expectation of what the team comp should look like because everybody has their idea of what they would want to play with on their team, but not necessarily everybody on the team, regardless of what they've selected as their preferred role, are going to fall in line with that. So for example, for the preferred role system, someone queues for support and insta-lock Symmetra. That would happen. That is actually the reality. Someone, you know, queues for DPS or prefers to play DPS and they play nothing but Widowmaker the whole time. So yes, there are issues with systems like that, especially for the first system and, you know, kind of discussed by Jeff saying that a locked version of a role queue would definitely not work because then it puts the responsibility to define a meta and define how the game is supposed to be played on the shoulders of Blizzard. Now, if you've seen the role queue video that I made here on the channel, then you will know that in my eyes, neither one of those is the right way to do it. But at the same time, even something as light as a preferred role system would be better than what we have currently because currently we have nothing. Essentially, we're going into games with expectations of what we would like to see on our team and expectations of what we would like our teammates to play and we're totally hoping that they end up picking something decent that they pick something that makes sense and overall that we have a good experience with good teammates so even something as subtle as like the preferred role system where let's say i can you know when i queue up i can pick anywhere between one and three roles dps heals and tank and then all it does is actually adds that icon next to my name. It doesn't make any changes to the game. It just shows what I'm willing to play based on what I've selected. So then my teammates can kind of expect what to ask from me in a strategical kind of way. Where they would say, hey, you know, Crashy, I see that your you know prefer preferences are between, you know, DPS and healers. Well, would you mind going on it right now? And so that at least would give us a little bit more structure on the strategical planning side of things to be able to say that, you know, hey, this isn't really working. Let's try something out. I at least know this person's, you know, open to the idea of willing to change to something potentially. And then you can kind of take it from there. Now, the locking role system undeniably creates much more problems than that because what, how do you even set it up? Do you just lock in 222 and make people play 222? Well, the answer to that is undeniably no. And I think this is the, the issue that a lot of people bring up instantly when talking about a role queue system because they think, well, 
then you force a meta and then you force you know specific team comps and you know one tank is you know with three dps is viable and solo healing is viable and you know three dps comps or three tank comps are viable and i agree i think the problem with jeff's statement is not being able or not having thought about a system that combines kind of the best of both and again if you have the time and are willing definitely go check out my video on roll queue because that's basically what i did essentially i want to provide a team enough structure to where the team comp will at least always make a little bit of sense and will provide enough flexibility so the teammates can choose to run unique strategies like bringing in multiple of any type of role. So essentially the way I accomplished this was by having three locked roles, which is most similar to kind of the role locked queue that Jeff Kaplan talked about, where there would be one player on the team that is locked to tanks only, one player on the team that is locked to support only, and one player on the team that is locked to pretty much all of the offense or defense tree only. Now again, I know that a system like this will have its issues and I'd love to discuss kind of the pros and cons with you in the comment section below because I do feel like a system like this leaves a ton of room for flexibility because the remaining three slots on the team would be left for flex players. Now a flex player would be anybody that queues with the ability to play any of the three roles based on the fact that one, you can innovate a team comp by saying, you know, the three flex players could all play the same role. They could all play different roles. They could create a 2-2-2 comp. They can create a three tank comp, a three support comp, a one support comp. They can do anything because they would have the remaining of the roster available to them. But their three set role, you know, members, the three set people would create enough structure for them to actually have a team comp that would make sense regardless. Ultimately, you have to realize that a roll queue system will never be perfect, whether it's preferred roll or locked roll, and it's not really even about making a system that's perfect. What it's about is creating a tool that the team can use as a starting point for strategy, you know, so you have a starting point of having three locked teammates or having prefer preferred roll queue where you have at least a little bit more information with a little bit of time to build a team comp with the people that also really want to win. So for me specifically, I love my idea of having three locked players and three open flex players. And it is a bit of a stretch in terms of development because I think it's fair to say that a full set of locked roll queue team will never happen because it will never make sense to force a meta. But the way that I'd be willing to do it where three people queue up as flex and have the full roster available and having three people who are locked would leave just enough room. The only thing it doesn't allow is if for some reason in meta at some point in time in Overwatch, a single role isn't needed. So say, you know, a, a pro team comes out with like a four DPS, two healer strategy, then obviously my system wouldn't allow for that, but I feel like that's very, very niche. And even if that did happen in say like a pro game, it's not something that would need to be emulated on the competitive ladder because 90% of the competitive ladder is not the pro scene, 99% of the competitive ladder is not the pro scene, and ultimately I think we need a little bit more structure for the competitive ladder to be a little bit more fun and a little bit more enjoyable, and for people on the competitive ladder to focus a little bit more on teamwork. So all in all, my thought is this, check out the roll queue video that I've done, let me know your thoughts, really explore in your mind why this would work rather than some of the other ideas you've seen out there. I think the important difference is understanding that anything at the end of the day is better than what we have now because what we have now is nothing. We have 30 seconds with six random players who are all being forced to create a team comp and it's just not a good feeling when things don't come together. So preferred role, half locked role, locked role, what do you guys think? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Please do not leave it a like and subscribe for future videos. I appreciate you checking this out. Let me know what you think, and I'll see you on the next video.